Welcome back to the Lemmings Reunion Level 7 Commentary Video Series. And today we are going to be finishing off the Hurt Me Planning Rank. First up is Hurt Me Planning 21, Future. I remember this level being quite a difficult one, but it's, it's, but it's a very nice one uh, from what I remember. And not only is this a very wide level, but um, there's also a lot of things going on as well. And so, um, just this huge entropy that um, results in it not being pretty obvious where the skills go. Yeah, that's what increases the difficulty, um, like, a lot. Okay. So, first two lemmings will fall down and be floaters. Uh, this lemming will bash through underneath the um, water pit, and then the next lemming up here will um, build, build over this gap. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and block with the first lemming that gets here. Okay, same thing here, block at the very end here. So now the crowd is safely contained between these two blockers. In the meantime, we're going to go ahead and focus our attention on our two worker lemmings here. They both get climbers. Alrighty, and then we're going to go ahead and bash here. And then while the basher tunnel is going, uh, the next climber will turn around. Okay, he'll float down here. And then we need to go ahead and build this platform here. Well, it's not really a platform, but rather a platform so that the uh, crowd can land down here and then walk this way and down here. Alrighty, in the meantime, this climber has made his way up here. Okay, he's going to get to here. And then this is where we need, well, here I dug down. Yeah, so in, in this way, uh, our worker lemmings will not uh, walk left into the uh, ball here, the ball trap. Alrighty, so first uh, worker here will make his way back to the left here, as we need to bash through both one-way walls. <laughs> yep, and he's doing that right now. And then I believe with this one, I just simply dig here, so that the crowd will be able to uh, walk into the exit later. Uh, yes, so I bash through this one-way wall, and then at the same time, around the same time, he starts digging here, so that once the crowd walks up, yeah, then they'll just walk right into the exit. Okay, and then here I uh, release this blocker with a miner. Okay, so now the path is clear, uh, ready for the uh, crowd to go into this exit over here. Okay, and then we still need to save this blocker as well. So, with the final lemming that's going to the left here, we use a miner to free him. And then these two will get floaters to land down safely while splatting. Okay, first one will be a climber. The next one will just simply bash through. And then, we use this dagger to delay him, so as to give this lemming enough time to bash through this long wall here. Okay, this will give him enough time so that this other uh, lemming does not turn around, and then fall into the bottomless pit over here. Okay, and then, yeah, this crowd is still making the way through. So here, yeah, these two will simply use this exit. Now, we just need to wait for everyone else to go into this exit. So this is just a time skipping. So again, quite a nice level, but certainly a difficult one from what I remember. I remember it taking me a while. Uh, Hurt Me Plenty 22, A Christmas Journey. This one can also be difficult as well, but uh, I think this one's a little bit easier than the previous one. Okay, so we have two entrances here. One on the very far left. And then one right here. Okay, so this crowd would be uh, taking the upper route up here. And so uh, we would need to get a lemming down here in order to um, rescue this um, uh, the crowd that gets up here. So first lemming out will mine to the right. And then I should start out maxing the release rate. Yes. So as to turn everyone but turn everybody to the left here before the miner breaks through. So yes, everyone turns around just in time before the miner breaks through. And then, after he does, he builds across this gap. And then, 
We also patch up this gap as well, this tiny gap with a builder. <laughs> Alrighty, and then we also build over the exit. Yeah, and the first limit to get that is able to get to the other side without exiting. He becomes a climber. Yeah, everyone, all these guys will just simply exit. While these two will go on ahead and forge the path. So, go over this gap. That's true here. Okay, patch up this gap with a builder. With our last builder. Alright, and then here he also gets a floater. Okay, so I just let him float down safely. Oh yes, and then with the final lemming in this crowd, I have him bashed to the right. Okay, and he digs down here uh, in such a way so that uh, a part of it goes through the steel, but he still continues through. Okay, so it's, this in essence creates a safe fall for the other lemmings so that they won't have too far to fall into the digger pit. So, just therefore, um, uh, doesn't really need me using the floaters, but they're there just in case. So, kind of a, an insurance, you might say. Alright, so now they get down here safely. Now they can simply walk over here and get to the exit. Oh yes, and here... Yeah, here I dig with the athlete that's up here. Because everyone else will be able to turn around, except for the climbers, who will just simply... Uh, get over the steel block and then be stuck in this infinite loop. So we have to dig through the staircase in order for the climbers and athletes to exit. As a matter of fact, I think he was the only one. So, quite another slow. Alrighty, and then another German level title here. So I apologize for uh, to any Germans um, if I mispronounce this. I think it's uh, Sternenhimmel. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I uh, got that wrong as well. But again, I'm not German, so um, I do not know any. Well, except for a couple of short uh, words and phrases. So I know uh, Ich bin and der, der for example. Uh, but that's pretty much all I know in the language. Um, basically, uh, I did watch Itchel's uh, creator's commentary video series. And he explains that the little title uh, translates roughly as A Sky Full of Stars. And that sounds familiar as that reminds me of a um, song by Coldplay who yeah, by the same name, by the same title. Okay, regarding the level itself, I certainly remember this one being quite a difficult one. And even more so on uh, Lemon Eye. So certainly the hardest part is the very beginning here. Yeah, we have three entrances with a very high release rate. So we're going to go ahead and dig down after walking for a bit. And then the Lemon that slips by the digger, uh, they will also need to dig down. Okay, and then, yes, I also maxed out the release rate. Yeah, before the uh, digger pits get too low, and then the, uh, some of the lemmings start splatting. Okay, and then around this time, I go ahead and block with the first diggers. This one, I let, go, uh, let him go for a little further. Okay, now I block with him. And then I start uh, preparing these uh, builder staircases. Yeah, with the middle one and also the one on the left, and now finally the one on the right as well. Although the one on the right, it doesn't really matter when you do it. Yeah, at least not as much as these two, um, as, my, as my solution will show. And certainly I made this far harder than I needed to on them and I, where I believe I simply used one uh, log miner yeah, to get the blockers free. And then I believe I ended up uh, using a bomber here as well. But in any case, yeah, mine was just simply a harder than it needed to be solution on Lemon Eye. Um, just all that unnecessary precision and um, execution. Here, I kind of did the same thing, but um, it's definitely not as maddening as the way I did on Lemon Eye. Uh, it's too bad that I don't have a... Well, actually, I think I do have a replay of it. Um, but it's a huge pain to execute in Lemon Eye, let's say. Alrighty, and then I believe I worry about releasing the blockers later here. Okay, bash on through here. Okay, 
and then build over this gap. And then we use two builders to get up here. So this way we can bash through so that we don't need to waste all our builders um, with these gaps down here. Not to mention that if you do end up using the builders, you're not going to have enough builders uh, to get to the exit. Okay, and then I believe I start releasing them soon. Or maybe not. But I do release a climber from this cloud here. Alright, bash on through. Okay, and this takes, I believe, two more builders. Okay, block at the end here. Alright, and this will take three more builders to get up here. And then finally, we use our two remaining builders to get to the exit. Alrighty, and now for releasing the crowd. Yes. So, here I bash this crowd out, along with releasing the blocker. And then with one of the lemmings here, I start mining. Yes, there we go. To release this crowd and also the, ba uh, the blocker. And then I use the staircase to keep the miner going. Who will end up releasing the... Um, crowd and also the blocker. Okay, and the miner would just simply fall into the water. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and time skip all this here. Alright, and finally all that's left to do is to nuke the blocker. Like I said, I remember this one being quite a difficult one. And again, I kind of made it harder than I needed to, especially on Lemon Eye. But well, these things happen. <laughs> and I do have the bad tendency to make solutions harder than they need to be. Especially when I tend to, to want to keep solutions as easy as possible. As much as possible. Uh, Hurt Me Planet 24, the alternative way. Yep, I loaded up the wrong one. Yes, I did. Yeah, it's this one. <laughs> Alright, first lemming out to the left becomes a climber, and then he takes down here, and then after a while, yeah, then I start setting up more climbers, so three more. Okay, and then once the digger is low enough, then I bomb, and it's done in such a way so that the climbers up here will still be able to land here, um, so that they can get down here safely while uh, spotting. So two on will go on ahead, while this third climber will patch up this gap with the builder. And then here I delay the second climber with a builder to give this first one a head start. Alright, and then I block at the end. And then the next one coming up will build into the block to turn around and reach the wall up here. Okay, he climbs over, build over the exit. Okay, mine down. And yes, at this time I also released a crowd with a builder so that they can get over the steel block. And then once the mine is low enough, then we bash through the one-way wall to get to the crowd. And that's it. Very, very nice level here. And definitely easier than the previous level. Okay, and then nuke the blocker, of course. And even finish with 58 seconds to spare here. Alrighty, Herbie Planet 25, Metropolis. This one I also wear being quite difficult, and especially on Lemon Eye, where there were um, several um, precise uh, skill assignments here. There's still some here on, in New Olympics as well, but it's definitely a lot easier, especially since the bombers are untimed. Alright, first stepping out from each entrance here would dig so that we get into this pocket here to contain the crowd. One lemming will simply slip by uh, from both sides. So, they will become floaters. Alrighty, bash underneath to get underneath the fire trap here. Yeah, in the meantime, um, the next uh, floater that's coming up will turn around. Who will prepare platforms for the crowds here. And, um, yeah, was he not a floater already? Oh, no, 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 he gets a climber. No, so I wait for him to turn back to the right. He has a wow. Yeah, so this this is one of a, of a uh, precise skill assignment here. So the digger here has to be 
quite precise here. So we have to dig in such a way so that um, once we get down here and, and start bashing, the crowd that's coming from the left will not splat uh, when they fall down here. But at the same time, we also need to uh, leave a um, uh, climbable wall to the left, as we still need to uh, prepare some bridges over here. Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and build a platform for this crowd. And then, no, he still has quite a while. Okay, and then build a platform platform for this crowd. Okay, he's almost ready to bash through. So yes, if you um, if I turn on CPM and then I use the splat burner, yeah, so you can see here, this is almost splat height. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I believe by one more pixel, then it would have been fatal. So this here is quite precise. But at the same time, I did leave a lot of wall to the left, so I probably could have um, placed the digger a little bit further to the left. And while still leaving a climber friendly wall. Alrighty, and then yes, he also gets a climber, and then we build to stop the basher so that he turns around. And again, uh, we're going to have him build the bridges here so that the crowd can land on them and then keep walking to the right later. Alright, this will take two builders, yeah, before he hits his head and turns back to the right. Oh yes, and then at the same time I start the miner. Uh, I go ahead and bomb the crowds free. Yeah, pretty much around the right end of the bridges here, so that to ensure that everyone will will survive the fall. Yeah, here he just barely lands on the bridge, but um, he does so that he survives. And then same thing here. Okay, and the miner is done in such a way so that he goes into the pockets here to stop and then turn back to the left. Yes, and he just started his second builder uh, staircase, and then he's going to hit his head and turn around. There we go. Yep. Build to get up here, and then finally, uh, use our two remaining builders to uh, get over these gaps, and that's it. Yeah, and that's it. And yes, the crowd is already coming here. Like I said, this is almost black height. Um, it's even harder on Lemon Eye. Yeah, especially since you don't have any, like, frame-stepping or, um, rewinding. So, misplace that digger, and yeah, and then it's essentially a restart. Alrighty, heard me playing 26, Evolve. Okay. I kind of vaguely remember the solution being different on Lemon Eye, but at the same time, yeah, it's not, like, Patched up like it is here in Neo Lemix. Uh, this one can be difficult, but it's still not too hard. Yeah, as long as you know what you're doing, and and it's just pretty much all about uh, crop maintenance. So of course, all of these lemmings get floaters, and then they also get climbers as well. We can't have anybody turning back to the left because there are these vine traps to be walking into. If that happens. Okay, the first lemming will go on ahead. And then second lemming will uh, dig here in such a way so that uh, nobody is able to climb out to the left or the right. So they are temporarily delayed. Yeah, in this um, um, like um, emo gem um, structure, while the first climber goes on ahead to forge the path. So mind you here, and then build. And then this will take two builders to reach this wall here. Yeah, and it's done in such a way so that he does not turn around. Okay, and then dig when he gets up here. And then just before the digger um, is able to get through to the um, bottomless pit, we have him bash out. Okay, so this releases the other lemmings as well that were trapped in there with him. Okay, so these lemmings that are coming in, they're going to climb up this wall on the right and then make their way back to the left to be delayed even more. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and bash through all these, um, underneath all these vine traps here. Yeah, to get all the way over here. Okay, so this gives him a huge lead ahead of the other lemmings. Okay, and this will be quite important. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and use um, several builders here. Might be seven. Okay, and the same thing here. With this um, ammo jump structure, we're gonna go ahead and dig so that these uh, other lemmings will be delayed once again. Okay. 
So yes, it took seven builders. Okay, and I do it in such a way so that he does not turn around. Okay, and then before he breaks through to the bottomless pit, of course we bash him out. Alrighty. And then here we we're gonna go ahead and dig before the chameleon uh, trap trigger. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and wait for these lemmings to climb up first before we start bashing. As a matter of fact, yeah, we just let him, I just let him hit this too. Yeah, I didn't bash. But uh, long before then, these climbers were already climbing the wall up here. Okay, so once again, they're going back to Levin or being delayed even more. Okay, build to get up here so that he climbs. And then this is where our casualty comes in, where we can lose one lemming. We're gonna go ahead and bomb here so, so that we can use this bomber hole to bash and then dig to get to the exit. Okay, and then that's pretty much it. Again, quite a nice level here. Alrighty, heard me plenty 27. Whispers and lights. <clears throat> okay, this one uh, I remember plays out a little bit differently in Lemonite, but then again, yeah, it's not quite as patched up as it is here in Neo Lemmix. And yeah, certainly the hardest part here is at the very beginning. Yeah, in getting to the uh, master traps here. So at the start, we max out the release rate. Okay, I give a floater to the first lemming so as to um, cluster up the lemmings better to get through these traps. And then I've dropped the release rate back to the default. Okay, bomb here so that the crowd will be safely contained in here. So yes, here, uh, yeah, only one lemming gets killed to each of these master traps. And it is slightly a bit harder yeah, in Neo Lemmings, mostly because I think the Master Traps uh, trigger a little bit faster, only slightly faster, I think, than they do on Lemonai. Okay, and then here, send up a Climber. And then send up the other Climber as well. The first Climber will bomb here. Yeah, creating a hole that the other Climber can get into to build to get up here. Okay, pass through all the way across here. Okay, he comes back up. And then we're gonna go ahead and use this builder staircase to extend the miner so that he gets down here. Okay, he will stop due to this deal. Okay, and then I bash the crowd out to the right. Okay, and then pass through the chimney to get to the exit. And finally, all there's left to do is to use the builder to get up this minor tunnel to get to the exit, and that's it. It's a really nice one. Yeah, it can be difficult. Alrighty, heard me plenty 28. Dirty work. Okay, so here we have several entrances here. Yeah, there are four, in, there are four of them. And this can be quite difficult, especially since uh, the most stressful part is at the very beginning here. And it may seem like you have a lot of skills, but you really don't. Okay, first lemming here, I have build. Okay, this first lemming will float down here, and then build to get here. And then first lemming here will patch up this gap uh, with a builder. And let me see what else happens. Oh yes, yeah, yes, he uses a builder to get over here. Okay, I'm gonna use a digger to delay this lemming. Okay, he bashes underneath the uh, uh, rock boulder trap here. And then, let's see. oh yes, he gets another builder. Yeah, it takes two builders to bridge up this gap. Okay, build with this lemming uh, to get over here. Okay. And this will serve as a spot for the crowd up here. Yeah, this will not be spot height. So, and there happens to be a couple of pixels leeway there. Oh yes, and here I mine. Okay, and then one of the lemmings here that gets trapped in a digger pit, I have him climb out to the left. 
Uh, let's see. Oh yes, and I make him a climber. Okay, built to stop the digger. And then start building here. Okay, and we also use a builder here. Uh, no we don't. No, no, we do not. Yeah, because of this minor die placed here. Okay, this takes two builders. To get over safely. Okay, and then we start uh, patching up this gap here. Also takes two builders. And then at this time, I should start sending out a climber soon. There we go. Okay, and then here, I believe I mined them. Yes, I do. Okay, build over this 10 tons trap. Yep, and the miner breaks through, yeah, and then they're able to walk down and land down here without needing any other additional skills. Oh yes, both of these get floaters so that they can land down here safely. And then, let's see. Oh yes, here I start bashing through. Yeah, now that the miner has broken through, to get the crowd up. So, these items will simply be uh, collected down here. Okay, bash uh, underneath the uh, bear trap here. And in the process, the climber will turn around. Okay, this takes two builders. Okay, bash through the one we will. And then here, I, st I mine to get this crowd free. Okay, and I finally use the last builder to turn this lemming around. And that's it. So, like I said, this one has the potential to be quite difficult. And especially since the hard part is at the very beginning, where there's a lot of multitasking to be to be done in order to make sure that nobody splats or gets killed. Yeah, but once you successfully manage to um, get everyone not in danger, then um, the rest should be somewhat easy. But still, but it still doesn't get too easy. Yeah, after that. And also it can be a time cruncher if you allow it to be. Alrighty, Herpy Planning 29, controlled release. Yeah, this one is quite a difficult level. This one certainly took me a while. Uh, especially since the most difficult part is just figuring out the timing and the spacing to do uh, tosses, especially to release the um, lemmings a few at a time in order to force the pop up ahead. So yeah, we need to release a couple of lemmings ahead at a time yeah, in order to bomb through the um, pillars here. So it just takes two and then another three here and then another four. Okay, and the way we do that is with these blockers. Yeah, hence the control release um, in the title. Alright, with the second to the last Nami, I bash with him. Yeah, this will cause the last Nami to turn around. Yeah, who will forge the path. Yeah, he uses the builders to get to here. And then here, I should start blocking pretty soon. Yeah, there we go. So I block with one of the Lemmings to turn the other Lemming around. Okay, and I should be blocking soon as well. Again. Okay, so this takes three builders to get across. And while he's going, yeah, the other lemming um, is able to get through safely. Who will bomb through this pillar. So no, I did not start blocking yet. Okay, bomb through this pillar. Okay, at this time, the, bas the basher has uh, released the uh, blocker. Okay, here, and I block in such a way so that I send three more lemmings to the left. Yeah, everyone else will take another detour to the right. Okay, so this is enough of a lead. Yeah, so that this let me will build over the uh, gaps before anyone falls through to the bubble bath. Okay, so this takes two builders to the left and then another build to the right. Okay, so blocker just got released. Yep, now the builder to the right. Okay, and I believe I do the same thing here, except I send, yeah, three more lemmings up ahead, and then block with the other one. And then I believe that's the final blocker I use as well. 
Alrighty, one more builder to the left. Yep. Same thing here. Bomb two of these pillars. One, two, and three. Get at least one lemming who can uh, build over the gaps here. Yeah, and this other lemming's coming. Same thing. Two builders to the left, then one builder to the right. And yes, the basher just finished and then falls to uh, the bottomless pit here. And then, yeah, the blocker just got freed. Yep, builder. One builder staircase to the right. Okay, and then another one to the left. So now we get to here. So, same thing. A bomber, and another one, and another one. And then here we need to stagger the bomber holes. Yeah, because as if we blow through the holes uh, so that they are directly on top of one another, this will be spot height. So we need to stagger them out a bit. Okay. And then finally, all that's left to do is to build over the gap and then build over the sucker trap. And that's it. So here I have one um, blocker left over here. So again, quite a difficult level. Uh, heard me plenty dirty. Edge to insanity. So the final um, level of the Hurt Me Plenty rank. Uh, this one I would say uh, maybe not as difficult as the uh, previous uh, rank finisher, but it's still challenging, let's say. Especially since um, all the rank finishers, what they all have in common is that they just simply wrap up the tricks that you learn throughout the, the rank. So here uh, for Hurt Me Plenty 30, it just uses the uh, plenty of the tricks that you learned throughout the Hurt Me Planning Rec uh, return here. So it's pretty much just the same. Uh, uh, what you have learned. Yeah, in order to help you solve this one. Alrighty, first time out becomes a climber. Okay, and then we bomb here so that everyone turns back to the right. And then I start bashing to the right here. And yes, this, thanks to the secondary animation, there's this uh, boulder trap here. But at the same time, the button's also visible. But again, uh, it's one of those traps in the dirt tile set that's not very uh, well designed. Okay, and then here we start building. It takes two builders. Yes, and I sent out the last lemming going to the right as a climber. Okay, this allows the other climber to get through. Okay, start building up. Yeah, and I built with the other uh, climber, uh, just behind them. And then after a bit, then I start blocking, yeah, to turn the builder around. Yeah, who reaches this wall? Okay, we use a climber bomber trick here, so that we can get up here and then build to get up here, which is one builder. Okay. Okay, everyone else is coming up. So now we use this trick that we learned from the sports bar level. Okay, we use a builder to the left to catch a lemming coming to the right in order to isolate our lemming temporarily. Okay, and then we'll release the crowd later with a blocker. Okay, we need to give him a head start. Yeah, now I start to do that. Okay, he gets up here where we start digging down and it's done in such a way so that um, the lemmings that are coming will be able to land down here safely. Yeah, so basically it needs to be around here. Yeah, and by this time, yeah, it's still safe enough for them before it becomes um, spot height. Okay, the digger will just keep on going until he gets to here. Okay, finally all that's left to do is to build over this gap. Yeah, the rest of the crowd has... Um, Taking a detour here. And then finally, all that's left to do is to mine into the steel block so that nobody can walk out to the left and into these traps here. Okay, and that's it. Quite a nice one here. And once again, with all the uh, just like with all the previous rank finishers, yeah, definitely a nice mix with the epic tile set. Yeah, where it's mixing all the original lemmings and oh no more lemmings tile sets together. Very, very nice design here. And a very nice puzzle. Yeah, to finish off the Kirby Planning rank. Okay, all that's left to do is to nuke the blockers now. Okay, so that finishes up the Hurt Me Playing rank and brings us to the fourth rank, which is Ultra Violence. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video of the Lemmings Reunion level solving commentary. And I'll see you all for the next one.